So we're here inside one of the inverter rooms. There's two, um, and in this particular room, it houses 10 of the solar edge units. Um, each one's 82.8 kVA. And you can see I've got here uh, the cover off. So we're talking about a DC isolator here. And you can see with the cover that goes on here. From the 20 combiner boxes, you've got the cabling coming here and the DC cable coming into the bottom of this enclosure. Here you've got your AC here. And this is a 50 mil four core and earth uh, flexible copper. And then you can, you can see tracks along this cable tray into a 160 amp isolator. And from there, goes up the cable tray and across and all the way over to one of the PV DBs. There's actually two in this room. Now, the, the solar edge system is pretty interesting. It has a central inverter that works in conjunction with optimizers. In this case, there is 2,276 of them and they service the needs of the 4,446 solar panels. Now, if you do the math, you'll find out that it doesn't um, equate equally. And some panels, in some cases, there's a single panel connected to one um, optimizer. In most cases, it's two panels, so 900 watts per optimizer. Now, the blue cable here is comms cable. That's um, yet to be connected, obviously. Communication is very important between all the inverters and communication protocols is something that every installer should get their head around at some stage or other, becoming more and more important as time goes on. The, there's a lot of cable train here ranging from 150 mil up to uh, 600 mil, some of the stuff on the ceiling, uh, housing, AC cable, and, and DC cable, so you've got DC cable here of course, and then you've got your AC cable there. You can see the cable coming in here, and remember the feeds from the 20 uh, combiner boxes are using a combination of 50 mil, 70 mil, and 95 mil copper flexible. And you can see there's a join point here and you can see the actual cable coming down in size as it comes up into the actual solar edge here. And they've stepped that down obviously because this size cable can't actually fit. There's a maximum um, cable size that can actually fit into these here. Obviously the volt drop on this whole system is being kept under 2%, which is a should, not a shall. And you can see obviously the three phase, obviously the three phase system, red, white and blue. Um, the, the feed coming from here to here is 50 mil, four core and earth, flexible copper, XLPE. So on this two megawatt system, there's four PVDBs. In this particular inverter room, there is two of them. There is PVDBA1, and this is fed from MSB4. And then over here, there is PVDBA2, and this is fed from MSB3A2. So you can see here we've got a um, AC isolated here, 160 amp each. So inverter number one down to inverter number six here. And then over here another four. So they, they correspond obviously with the 10 solar edge inverters in this particular inverter room.